Have you ever thought about how much metal goes into each can? Today, we're going to talk about can weight. Right here, I have two different cans, the 211 and the 204. Both hold 12 ounces of fluid, but one has a larger diameter and one is a taller can. The answer to which one weighs more depends on various factors. If we only look at the sidewall of the can and assume a uniform metal thickness from top to bottom, there would actually be less metal in the sidewall of the 211 can. In reality, we know that the sidewall of the can is not a uniform thickness. There is a thin midwall section of the can and then a thicker top wall section of the can. The thick top wall is used to neck the can down to a smaller diameter to accept a smaller diameter end. Because of this, there is less of a thick wall on the 204 can. The final factor that we'll talk about is the starting coil thickness. We know that there is little to no thinning in the dome of the can. Because the 204 has a smaller dome, there is less original coil thickness in the dome of the 204 can. Unfortunately, there is no one-size-fits-all answer to which can weighs less. Because of this, the true answer to good can weight control is good product design and good process control.